Now for this topic, addition or subtraction of matrices, you can only add or subtract matrices that have the same dimensions, okay? So how many rows does this have? It has three rows and then it has two columns. This one has three rows and it has two columns. Always the rows first and then the columns. And you'll notice that the dimensions are exactly the same. This one's a three by two and that one's a three by two. Not only do they have to have the same dimensions, but your answer will have the same dimensions. So A plus B will be a three by two and A minus B will be a three by two, okay? And so then when I go into the computer, I will select this option here, which is a three row by two column matrix and the same over here. Okay, and then now it's just a matter of filling in the blanks. And so this one, you really take it term by term, okay? So the first term in the first row, first column, plus the first term in the corresponding term of the other matrix. So negative one plus five, which is going to be four. Here, this is going to be six plus a negative two, which is four. Here, this is going to be 7 plus a negative 3, which is a positive 4. This is going to be 7 plus 4, which is 11. This is going to be negative 7 plus 0, which is negative 7. And this is going to be 3 plus 3, which is 6. Okay. Now, you don't need to write what I've written above it. I'm just trying to explain it where I got the numbers from. Normally all of that you do in your head, but I wanted to at least illustrate how I did that, okay? So the same thing with subtraction. You're gonna take the quantities in matrix A and subtract the quantities in matrix B. So for this first entry, it's gonna be negative one minus five, which is negative six. For the second entry over here, it's gonna be six minus a negative two, which actually turns into six plus two, so this is eight. Then for this entry, it's going to be seven minus a negative three, which becomes seven plus three, so this will be a ten. Then for this spot will be a seven minus four, which is just three. For this spot, it'll be negative seven minus zero, which is still negative seven. And for the last entry, it'll be three minus three, which is zero. Okay. Um, so that time I did it on the side just so you could see what I was doing. But again, normally you just do it in your head and you write the answers. Okay, this one is different. Now, let's write down those sides. So this is one, two, three rows by two columns. This one is two rows by three columns. These are not the same dimensions. Okay, and because they are not the same dimensions, we would say that this at A plus B um, does not exist. Okay, um, I think in the computer, you would say the answer undefined. Since we can't find it, it's undefined. Okay, um, so that is going an option you can pick all the different shapes or you can select undefined and you only select undefined when the um, dimensions don't match and then that means you can't add them because then who's gonna go with this guy right who's gonna go with these guys there's nobody over here to go with them okay and you can't just like switch it up and rotate everything that's not how it works it has to be this first guy first row first column first row first column second uh column first row second column first row and then that's fine for this and then second row second column or second row first column second row first column second row second column second row second column but as soon as you get down to this there's no third row over here so you can't put the two with the negative one two and negative one with anything and there's no third column over here so these guys can't go with anybody over here you can't just make these guys go with that guy it doesn't work like that Okay, they have to line up 
perfectly or it's undefined.